up my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalinda one I know guys I missed you guys so much it feels so good to be recording again and the truth is I needed a break I had to take a break I was kind of forced to take a break I had a lot going on as you guys saw in my last video it's all about Davion right now who is my son he's not my brother he is not my husband Somebody actually said that ill but that is my son that is my baby boy and um he's graduating from high school so it's really been all about him when it comes to prom and graduation and football and and recruiting and picking a college and all that good stuff so that is nearing towards its end all we have left is graduation which is in a couple of days <gasps> however I needed to take a break. I'm finally back in my filming studio. Oh, I cannot begin to tell you how good it feels to be back in my studio. So I'm very happy to be back with you guys. And I wanted to, I had to jump on and do a full review on the, on a new, <laughs> on a new cover girl. I received a huge PR package from cover girl and I'm so happy to be working with them. Uh, on all their new foundations guys they came out with new yep yep that just fell out okay so guys this <laughs> wait <laughs> this is the PR package we got cover girl came out I'm trying to put it to where you guys can see it cover girl came out with 40 shades of their new foundation and as you can see um the light the light foundations is still a decent amount I mean it's still a lot and we can definitely do more work at those darker shades they also came out guys holding this is no joke they also came out as you can see down the middle they came out with four primers so I'm not mad at that this was a beautiful PR package that we got so I definitely wanted to come and bring you my opinion on this foundation I made sure not to look at anyone else's review because you guys know how I feel about foundations I love foundation reviews I love doing foundation reviews for you guys I feel like the foundation builds onto everything else I feel like the skin anything that's gonna go onto the skin to help the skin look more healthy and enhanced in any type of way I'm all for it eyeshadows eh. Lipsticks, okay. Highlighters, okay. But foundation is where it's at. So I definitely wanted to bring you my review and my thoughts on it. And guys, thank you so much for all the tags. I love that you guys are tagging me. You guys are tagging me a lot lately and I'm loving it. So let's get started. Okay, so inside it comes with this little booklet and it says, because we listened. And then it says, CoverGirl set out to create a foundation that works for all skin types. Minimizes pores, controls shine, feels comfortable on the skin and stays put for 12 hours. Easy navigation with four shade ranges numbered from light to deep. So L for light, M for medium, T for tan, and D for dark. Warm, cool, and neutral undertones call out to help you find your perfect match. Um, it does come with concealer, I have to say, but they didn't make as many concealers to match the foundation. Let me show you the concealers. So these are the concealers that they sent. And as you can see, that not going to work for me. <laughs> None of those colors are going to work for me, which is why you're not going to see them in this um, video. I don't know the consistency. I don't know the quality because the colors are so off that I didn't even give them a chance, to be honest with you. So I have here the five darkest shades they range from d50 to d90 and this is d50 and i can pretty much tell you that that is way too light for me so i'm not even going to swatch it but it's this is what d50 look like so the last four is what i'm going to swatch for you so we can figure out what's that perfect color for me and then we're going to go from there okay let's get going however wait 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 a minute wait a minute did you subscribe yet guys if you haven't subscribed definitely want to go ahead and subscribe now so you never miss another video and definitely become part of that notification squad because i am finally back thank you god because i missed you guys so much and you don't want to miss the next few videos so go ahead and click that bell so you become a part of the notification squad so you will know when i upload first okay did you do it did you do it 
Good job. So now here we go. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna jump right in. I have the four darkest colors. I have D60, I have D70, I have D80, as well as their very darkest color, which is D90. Okay guys, so I have the four darkest shades swatched on my hand, and the first one is D60. The next one is D70. The next one is D80. And then the last one is D90. D90 is super dark. So I know that's not my color, but believe it or not, it might make a nice little um, um, bronzer, like a bronzing contour type thing maybe. So as of right now, I think my color actually would be between D70 and D80. If there was a color in between those two, that would be my color. So I'm going to mix those two. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so in regards to the primers that they have, I'm going to try, they have the two that I'm most interested in is the skin smoothing primer and then the pore minimizing i don't feel like my pores are like ridiculous so i'm gonna go with the skin smoothing one and my face is moisturized let's see what this is talking about it's pretty transparent you ask me i don't think it has a lot of uh of a gray cast maybe a tiny bit but Nothing that I feel like uh, would be a problem. Two pumps of the D70, and I'm gonna do two pumps of the D80. So I'm gonna do one half with a um, beauty blender sponge, and then the other half with a brush, just because I really wanna know, you know, which one gives me my life. You guys know, sometimes I like a sponge, and sometimes I like a brush. It really honestly does depend on the foundation, so. We're gonna go in with this side first, I I'm guess. I'm gonna take my very damp sponge and get to, and this is a beauty blender, guys. This is just a big one. It's more of a body beauty blender, but I use it on my face. And the two of them together is pretty much a match. Maybe just a little bit dark. But... Okay, so that's one application with, um, the sponge, I'm not disliking it. Um, it, it. To me, is this supposed to be a matte foundation? This is supposed to be matte. I'm not getting matte. I'm. I'm getting more. I'm not getting matte. I have to say, the primer looks more matte than the foundation there. I don't. I'm definitely not getting matte at all, which I prefer. So on this side, I'm gonna go in with a new brush that I got. I got makeup over it already I don't see how I did that a new brush that I got from it cosmetics and this is their airbrush full complexion no full coverage complexion brush it has this like square thing to it I've used it before but I haven't showed you guys not hating this brush not hating this brush at all You guys see why I say there's nothing matte? I don't see matte. Maybe, I don't know. Um, which applicator do I prefer? I think I prefer the sponge than the brush. Not that the brush doesn't look good. I think I just prefer the sponge. So with that, I'm just gonna go over it. And just I'm just adding a little bit onto the sponge and putting it only where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I don't hate it. I don't think I'm super in love. Like I didn't put it on and go drop the sponge. Like I'm not doing that, but there's nothing to hate about it. I feel like mixing the two gave me my perfect shade, but I don't get super matte. I don't get, I get almost like a, a semi matte. Cause I don't, I don't look dry 
which I appreciate. I don't look dry. It looks, it looks healthy. It looks somewhat natural. Like I don't feel like I look too cakey. I totally could go in with another application. So let me just see if it's buildable. So I'm gonna take one pump of the D80 and I'm gonna take one pump of the D70 and I'm doing more padding in. I'm not really doing a lot. I'm not gonna swipe, I'm just patting it into my face. Make sure you get those ears and go underneath those jaw lines, down your neck, even a little behind the neck. You don't want no lines or demarcation. So yeah, that's the second application. I don't feel like it looked too much different than the first. I feel like there is, I can still see a little bit of darkness underneath my eyes, right up in here, where the concealer will go, but that's how I can gauge whether it's like a full coverage or not. So no, I wouldn't say that this is super full coverage, but what I would say is that I think it's a decent foundation to, um, it's giving me enough that I would probably wear it to work or something. Initially, initially. So now let me go finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I wanted to share something with you really quick. While I was doing my eye makeup, I definitely noticed that this foundation oxidizes pretty extremely. Um, from when I first put it on, it got dramatically darker. Like it's dramatically darker than my neck and then, then when I first applied it. So keep that in mind. In the future, what I wouldn't do, I would not go in with the 80, but just go in with the 70 all by itself, especially now that I know that it does oxidize because it will get a little darker. So just off the top, before I even give my final, my final thoughts, I definitely wanted to pop in real quick and just let you guys know that this foundation does oxidize and it got a lot darker. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm almost done with my makeup, what I want to try, I wanna go in with D90. I wanna see what she do, I wanna see if, but now that I know it oxidizes, that might be really, really dark. So I'm gonna use a very, very light hand. And bad it's a little on the really dark side for me but if you are a darker complexion I would use this on a regular basis like because it blends out beautifully like it blended out nicely but that's a little bit too dark that made it a little bit too dark and I used a very little bit okay guys so my face is completely done and I'm going to follow it up with the covergirl look lock up all day setting mist so I'm gonna use a little bit of this. It's kind of direct, like, it's not the nicest mist. It's kind of very direct a little bit, but you can smell the alcohol. And then I like to always go behind it. Any any setting spray that I use, I love to go behind it. With the Mario DeSeco spray, I just love it. I just feel like it gives, oh, that's the mist. And it just, it melts any powder, anything. It just gives you a nice soft look. Okay, so what I will have to say is once the foundation has set and got onto your face, I have to say it is quite pretty. As you can see, it's a very pretty foundation. I think it's actually a really good everyday foundation if you're going to the store or if you're going to work or something like that. This is not my kill em foundation. This is still not my foundation that I'm gonna go on when I want that flawless look. I want that foundation that's just disrespectful. This is still not it. But I will say that it's pretty good for the drugstore. I will say it's great on the la um, smile lines. My smile lines, I set it a little bit, but usually by now my foundation been uncreased. And it really doesn't matter what foundation it is, but this one is creasing when I say the tiniest bit. And I'm okay with that. I can live with that. So that it did pretty well. It played well with others. It blended beautifully as well as it blended out with my concealer. Um, I, to me, I can still see a little bit of my darkness around my mouth. I did not color correct and I did that in 
purposely just to see what it does and what it doesn't do but for the most part like i said um for an everyday go to found go to work type foundation i think it works great now i do not feel like there was much difference between the one application and then building it up to the two pretty good coverage if you do not have a lot of discoloration on your face now if you have a lot of discoloration on your face i cannot speak to that i probably would go in with two um coats or two applications but if not i feel like the one application with some concealer will do you just fine as it did dry down that is when i could see that it was definitely more matte so if you are a really oily girl i still don't think i would suggest a matte primer and this foundation because you're gonna get pretty matte upon application you just don't see it as you saw upon applications it didn't look super super matte but as it dried down that's when you definitely can see okay yeah she's matte so it does come with a matte primer but for me my recommendation I probably wouldn't use it unless I am like the oiliest person in the world and even then, I would go very light-handed with the foundation because you don't want to be too, too matte. You don't want to be too matte. I have to say, I was quite surprised. I actually like the primer. This is their skin primer, the skin smoothing primer. I have to say, I'm not mad at this primer. It definitely helped this, uh, the foundation go on smoother. I didn't feel like I had to... I didn't feel like the foundation wasn't sticking or it wasn't smooth. I feel like it laid off a nice little canvas for it. So I'm not mad at this on an everyday. Probably not my go-to as when I'm trying to kill the game. But every day, a little bit of protection underneath, I'm here for it. And it didn't leave a super duper ridiculous white cast. So I'm here for that. I'm here for that. So as of right now, 1 out of 10, I would give this foundation a good 8.5. Nothing necessarily was wrong with it. It wasn't my, like, oh my god, it didn't leave me with the flawlessness. As if, like, the first time I tried Fenty or my uh, YSL foundation. However, there was definitely nothing. I can't, I can't sit here and say it did this or it wasn't smooth or it, it, it left my skin looking blotchy, as you can see. Yeah, I'm okay with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm very proud of CoverGirl. I feel like they came out with another banger. I feel like this was, was a good addition to the collection. I'm so glad that they came out with 40 foundations. I need all brands to take note that all... And I need us to also take note that these brands are listening. CoverGirl listened and they're coming out with more and more colors. They could have put a little bit more on the dark side, but growth, growth is happening. You know, even their darkest shade, which is the D90, go a little darker. But they're listening, and the fact that they're listening makes me very encouraged and makes me want to support them any, even more because if they listen before, they'll listen again, and the shade ranges will continue to expand, and I am always here for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl Shalinda One. Be sure to become a part of the notification squad. Click that bell so the next time I upload a video, you will be the first to know about it. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye, guys.